national media actually have watched Drew play? I'm confused. You wonder, but I think a lot of them, Zach, to Mike's point here, I think a lot of them just took a quick look at the Broncos' 7-9 and nine record. And, you know, honestly, if you polled a lot of these national analysts, I'd be willing to bet probably half of them don't realize Locke went 4-1 and one as a starter down the stretch. I bet half of them don't even realize that. They'll look at his numbers and they go, oh, and they'll maybe compare it to Kyler Murray or they'll compare it to Daniel Jones, do the little box score scouting and go, all right, five games, 1,000 passing yards, seven touchdowns, three picks, solid, unspectacular. And, you know, I, you, could, you could make that argument based on, based on uh, you know, started out strong. I wouldn't necessarily say fizzled in those final three games, but kind of plateaued a little bit. I think a lot of that, as we talked about last night in reference to the Brett Coleman video, I think a lot of that was coaching in terms of he was being coached to be extremely conservative and not, you know, um, kind of keep things battened down, so to speak. But if you really watch the tape, anyone who's paying attention to Drew Locke last year, and it wasn't just what he did on the field, but what he did on the sidelines, galvanizing the team. I mean, the entire team played better. We're talking about a club that won three games rolling into week 13. They'd won three games and then they win their four out of their final five. You can't attribute that purely to Locke's right arm, but it's the tide that raises all ships, Zach, and that's what is so encouraging about this kid. I wouldn't even be surprised if these national media types, they don't even know that Locke started last year. I mean, they, they knew the Broncos picked up Joe Flacco, and now Flacco's no longer on the team. They look at a 7-9 and team who hasn't been in the playoffs in five years, a half decade, and that's how they form these opinions. Meanwhile, if they watched the Broncos last year, they saw a really raw quarterback come off the bench win four out of five games, handily take down the Texans, handily take down the Chargers. He, he took down the Raiders in the finale after losing to the Chiefs with limited supporting cast, limited coaching, limited everything around him, and he still went 4-1. and one. To put him at 31st overall, like I said, there's no other word for it. It's uninformed, and it's lazy analysis, and that's the, that's the common denominator in the national media. That's exactly why when we see a person like Colin Coward praise the Broncos or Drew Locke, it's surprising. It shouldn't be surprising. That's what we should be getting at this stage of the offseason with the caliber of talent like Locke and the, the roster around him now. But it's always a shock when we hear something positive, and yet it's normal when we hear something negative. That has to flip, and that will flip this season.